Hey there, so today we're going to be talking about constraints inside of Autodesk Inventor, specifically the angle constraint. So notice here we have the stapler assembly. Now for the most part it is fully constrained. There are still a few more constraints that we need right, to fully constrain this assembly. So let's go ahead and add an angle constraint, right? And then that's for whatever reason, whether we're going to be creating different drawing representations, maybe we want to show the customer how far the stapler is going to be able to open. Right? There's a couple different reasons why we would want one. So here in the assemble tab, make sure that you select constraint, select the angle constraint. Notice that we have a few different angle constraints, directed angle, undirected angle, and reference vector angle. In our case though, we are going to be sticking to the directed angle solution. Now a lot of users would select the two faces that I just selected here, right? But let's see what it gives us. Notice that at zero degrees it opens the stapler fully. We type in 45 degrees and we see that the angle is getting referenced off the incorrect axis. So let's go ahead and do this one more time. Instead, this time, let's go ahead and select planes. Once again, selecting the angle constraint, directed angle. Let's locate the upper component and select the XZ plane from it. And we're also going to want a fixed plane. Right? So in this case, the assembly environment's XZ plane. Note the difference this time, at 0 degrees it's fully closed, now if we input 45 degrees we see that we get the correct angle. Now if we want to verify this, we can always go into the inspect tab, measure the angle between the two faces, and we see that we get 45 degrees. So that's been the angle constraint guys, thanks for watching.